So with the Outriders demo now here and me spending a ton of time playing it, I thought I'd bring you guys my initial thoughts on this game and answer the question of, do I think it's lived up to the hype? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So I just want to state this isn't a full review of the game or anything like that, it would be a little unfair to do such from a demo considering we haven't experienced hardly anything from this demo to what's available in the full game. Today we will talk about the feel of this game and if I believe it's something worth investing time into which at the same time will be rewarding. So Outriders before release was as we normally see being compared to the top dog in Destiny, with people asking the question of, will Outriders kill Destiny? I mean I understand the comparison because it's more or less a looter shooter with many similar aspects. But let me straight up state, no this isn't a Destiny killer at all, reason being nothing will ever kill Destiny besides Destiny itself. And with the massive roadmap we got yesterday from Bungie, with the many many great changes coming to Destiny, it will get much much better. Even though I think now, besides a few problems, I think Destiny is in a good place. What Outriders is, is great competition for Destiny, which in my opinion will see Bungie step their game up, which I feel is needed for Destiny and a great thing at that. Both games can bounce off each other and make each other better and that's a good thing. We need competition people. Games like these need competition. And why can't we just play and enjoy both instead of bitching about one or the other? Because in fact they are both really good games. So Outriders I played the demo a ton, I have a feeling for the game and to be honest guys I absolutely love it. If you watched my stream yesterday getting into Outriders you will have heard my excitement in my voice when using those abilities slowing down time with the trickster, watching those bullets pedal past my face in slow motion, teleporting behind enemies and dicing them, I had a ton of fun people I ain't gonna lie and what we get in the demo doesn't even scratch the surface. In terms of the way the game feels, it's very different to what I'm used to, but it isn't a bad difference. It feels to me a lot like Gears of War in terms of movement, just at a much quicker pace and a lot more fluid than I can remember Gears ever being. Adding crazy abilities, amazing weapons and that loot a shooter system and that's what we have in Outriders. It's literally like the offspring of Destiny and Gears with a few touches of the division thrown in. But it's definitely the better parts of each game rolled up into one in my opinion. The gunplay feels great too. This was my main concern watching a few trailers not playing this demo. I mean this is kinda hard to get right, but I feel people can fly up and a great job here. Weapons do feel amazing, and although the game doesn't aim for you, and you actually have to pick those shots properly, when you hit that headshot at 40 meters with a semi-auto rifle and you see that head explode, you get a great feeling. And that's a good thing. Now it's important to note the game does have a lot of motion blur which in the demo you can't turn off but this will be an option in the full game. I'm mentioning this because this is one of the main issues I had from this demo but it's good to see in the full game we will be able to turn motion blur off. Now the story and how it feels from what I've experienced so far in my opinion is good. I wouldn't say it's 10 out of 10 but it's good enough. You feel like you're building up to be the center of the universe and although I wouldn't say the actual voice acting in this game is incredible, what I will say is it suits this style of arcade game, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm looking for Jakob Dabrowski. Go away. Listen, asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your. Ah! 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 So I am excited to do and see more within the story. So the main thing I know people are wondering: what does this game offer in terms of longevity and me wanting to come back and play? Well, if you are a fan of the usual looter shooter with the farming of that gear, building the ultimate player, and having fun at the same time, this game is for you on that aspect. 
because just from the demo alone, which is really limited in terms of what you can actually do compared to the full game, there is a lot of farming here you can do right now in terms of a legendaries and more. And because progress transfers over to the full game, if you do purchase the full game, it isn't all pointless. The point in which you can rinse and repeat certain missions to farm those chests at the end to get that loot is a great aspect I wanted to see and it feels a lot like other looter shooters and is as rewarding. I feel what the full game will offer will be much like the demo just turned up by 10 and with the fact there are 15 difficulties for your playthrough, each ramping up that loot in terms of how often it will drop but at the same time making it much much harder and this is before we get into the true end game which when we complete the 35 to 40 hour story that true end game opens up with 15 brand new unique end game missions and then once you've done them and farmed them and all those difficulties trying to get that loot they offer we then have the final raid like mission after that which offers even more so there is a ton of things to do and farm in this game and this isn't taking into account the many aspects of your build in which you can set up in many many different ways because it is crazy in depth and then we think of the mod system which is highly affected by armor and weapons which is one of the main reasons behind all the farming this game will offer to create that ultimate build and the depth to that is truly staggering with five piece legendary armor systems the legendaries in this game well basically this game's exotic Unlike Destiny, you can apply more than one legendary at the same time. You can get full legendary armor sets where you will get bonuses. Say if you have a full set of five, one for each section of your body, you will get a bonus which will affect the way you play, also affecting your build. This also works with weapons too. Some weapons have mods which truly affect the way in which you play the game. And that's what it's all about, people. It's about farming that best loot. It's about building that great character. And Outriders offers that massively. Now, personally, I think Outriders will be a great addition to the looter shooter genre. And what we have at the moment is nothing sure of what I expected this game to be. I haven't been let down yet. Now, many people will be asking, will this game pull me away from Destiny? I'd say right now Destiny will offer more, but how many years old is Destiny? Outriders is a brand new game, which I feel will be a game I play equally as much as Destiny, balancing off both. When I get fed up with one, I'll play the other. So Outriders is a game I'm definitely getting, and I think it will deliver on what I want from this game and this genre. Destiny Killer though? Absolutely not. Prepping up to be an amazing game on release on April 1st, absolutely and I cannot wait. But yeah guys, those are my thoughts from the Outriders demo and I look forward to your opinions on it down below within that comment section if you have played it. Good or bad, what you think, let me know. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on the next one.